Hi guys, I am Miss Christine. How are you today? I hope you had a really great day and you're doing just fine. Today I will discuss about another Jane Austen's books. At this point I'm just talking about period dramas more or less, but I'm guilty because I love them. Today I will discuss about Sense and Sensibility, the book, and I will compare it with the movie that came out in 1995. So if you are a fan of this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified every time I will post something new. So Sense and Sensibility is the very first book I read from Jane Austen, uh, and I read it in Romanian. I think it's the only book from Jane Austen that I read in Romanian because, as I said, it, it was the very first one that I read and then I started to read them in English, but I will discuss about it in English, of course, and with no more introductions, let's just jump into today's video. First things first, I will discuss a little about the book and then I will compare it with the movie, so in that way I can give you a little context. So Sense and Sensibility is a novel written by Jane Austen and it first appeared in 1811. So the novel reveals the story of Dashwood sisters. We have Eleanor, she's the older one, she's 19 years old. Then we have Marianne, she's 16. And the younger one, Margaret, she's only 13 years old. But the book focuses more on Eleanor and Marianne and their personalities are kind of distinctive. So Eleanor is the older one and she's the most mature one. She's that kind of person who knows how cruel and mean people can be and she's trying not to put herself in center of attention. She's this kind of person who puts uh, other people's feelings above hers and she doesn't care if she's suffering if that's the price to pay for another person's happiness. Marianne, on the other hand, she represents the sensibility in this book. She's romantic, she's a free spirit, she's falling in love blindly with a man even though that person is not good for her. At the beginning of the book she's only 16, she's basically a teenager and we cannot judge her too harsh for her personality and for her actions, but getting along with the story and getting more and more in what's happening in the book, we will see that at the end of the book she's growing into a major young lady. So the story begins with the death of Henry Dashwood, the father of Eleanor, Marianne and Margaret, and this event pushes the Dashwood sisters and their mother to move out in another place because the house where they uh, stayed in was totally hired by uh, Henry's first son from another marriage, uh, John Dashwood. So the Dashwood ladies will found a modest house at Barton Cottage and basically their life will change forever there. So we are used to see a lot of characters taking part of the action in Jane Austen's books, but I will discuss about a few of them and I will compare the characters in the book with the actors who played the part in the movie that came out in 1995 directed by Ang Lee. So we have Emma Thompson playing Eleanor Dashwood and I think she was a great fit. You will see in this video that I personally not have a problem with the actors but I have a problem with the characters in the book and this thing doesn't happen too often in my videos because basically I love the book and most likely I have some things to judge about the movie but here is not really the case because there were some characters in the book that I personally hated and I will discuss about them when I will reach them. Personally I think Eleanor's character was the best one in this book. She was the most mature one, she was the strongest one and she has to take care of the family after her father passed away. I think she will be the character most of you will fall in love with because she's that kind of character who suffers a lot but she's trying to keep it together and not to show it and just being there for other people. Emma Thompson as Eleanor, as I said, she was a great fit. She was warm, she was kind, she was acting like Eleanor, she was smart, she was thinking rationally and basically she was that character who other characters came and cry on her shoulders. Then we have Kate Winslet playing Marianne Dashwood and again I think she was a great fit. She was that kind of free spirit, she was romantic, she was that hopeless romantic and at times she was a little annoying but as I said she was a teenager so I don't want to be too harsh with her. She will fall in love with this man on the name Willoughby. Mr. Willoughby was played by Greg Wise and I don't have a problem with the actor but I 
truly have a big problem with the men characters in this book because they really need a pair of pants to remember that they are men, not chickens. Okay, most of man characters in this book are stupid, like Willoughby, who is in love with Marianne, but he will left her for a rich chick. I wanted to take a baseball bat and beat Willoughby and Edward Terrace, who was played by Hugh Grant, because he was a coward. Okay, both of them were cowards. Edward Ferraz was so annoying in this book. I'm not judging Hugh Grant because he just played the character, but he was so annoying and stupid and I was so pissed off with this dude that I just wanted to push him out of the bridge. Fortunately, at the end of the book, Edward remembers that he's a man and he will follow his heart and propose to Eleanor, but if I were Eleanor, I would have rejected him because he was so dumb and stupid and he was that kind of man who doesn't even know what's wrong with him. I'm in love with this woman, I want to marry this woman, I will marry a random chick. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what's in my mind, I don't know what's in my heart. The only man that I personally think acted like a man and like a gentleman was Colin and Brandon who was played by Alan Rickman. Rest in peace. Colin and Brandon is a 35 years old man. He's polite, he's caring, and he will fall in love with Marianne. And here's a problem because Marianne is in love with Willoughby. But we will learn about his character that he suffered a lot in his past. He had a dark past, but despite all of that, he had a great character. And Alan Rickman played his character so well. Those are the most important characters we have in this book, but we also have some characters who are just not that important, like uh, Margaret Dashwood, uh, who was played by Miriam Francoise. I hope I didn't mess up her name. We only acknowledge the fact that she's the younger sister of Eleanor and Marianne, but that's it. This is what we have from her. Then we have Mrs. Dashwood who was played by Gemma Jones and her character wasn't the most stable of them all but her husband passed away so I can justify her character by that. Then we have Fanny Dashwood who was played by Harriet Walter and she was a pain in the ass throughout the entire book. You will hate her. The movie was okay, uh, it was beautiful as visual, uh, the customs were great but if you are not a fan of period dramas books, you will find this movie a little boring. I personally didn't like the way the book ends because Eleanor will end up with Edward and personally I didn't like that at all. I didn't like uh, Edward's character because as I said he was a douche, he was just stupid and dumb and Marianne would end up with Colonel Brandon and this thing again I didn't like because Marianne was not in love with Colonel Brandon. I think she just married him because she, I don't know, find him a great guy. That's all I have to say about Sense and Sensibility. Tell me in the comment section if you read the book or seen the movie or both. Be free to share your personal opinion about them. Don't forget to check out my Romanian channel, I will link it down below in the description box. Along with uh, the social platforms you can find me if you want to see me more. And so the next time we will see each other with another book versus movie kind of content. God bless you all.